Question number 20. The table below shows income tax rates in a certain year. So the table is here with the monthly taxable income in Kenyan shillings. Then the tax rates are given in percentage. In the year, the monthly earnings of Kanini were as follows. Basic salary, 64,500 shillings. House allowance, 12,000. Then there is extra information here. Kanini contributes 7.5% of our basic salary to a pension scheme. This contribution is exempted from taxation. She is entitled to a personal tax relief of 1,408 per month. Calculate A, Kanini's monthly taxable income, two marks. So let us begin from part A of the question, taxable income. Taxable income is also referred to as the gross income. And to get the gross income, uh, this is how we do it. To get the gross income, gross income is given by the basic salary, given by the basic salary plus all the taxable allowances. Now, in this question, uh, the basic salary is uh, 64,500. Then the allowance this is house allowance which was 12,000 and then there's something here there's more information here Kanini contributes 7.5 percent of our basic salary to a pension scheme and you're given that this amount is exempted from taxation meaning it is not taxed so we have to subtract uh, from this figure that you get here we have to subtract 7.5 of the basic salary and the basic salary is uh, 64,500. Since this one is not taxed, it is exempted. So this is what will give now the taxable income for Kanini. So working out this is in a calculator. Uh, so 64,000 plus 12,000 minus 7.5 divided by 100 multiplied by 64,500. So this will give uh, 71,662 and 50 cents. So that is the taxable income for Kanini. The second part of the question. Tax payable by Kanini that month. Tax payable by Kanini that month. Now to get the tax, already we have the taxable income. So this is the amount that you're supposed to tax. And you're going to use this table, uh, these labs that are here, to tax this amount. So let's begin from the first slab. Without forgetting that the money that we are taxing, uh, the money that we are taxing is 71,000. This one this is the amount, 71,662.50. So don't forget that this is the amount that you're taxing. So we start from uh, the first slab. Uh, the first lab, the first lab is uh, 12, uh, 298, 12, 298, so 12, 298, so 12, 298, and then the tax in that slab is 10%. So when you work out that, the tax that you get in that slab will be 12, 29, and 80, so 12, 29, and 80 cents so that is the first slab now we have to be very careful in this question uh, we need to get the difference in the second slab see whether they are uniform so to get the amount of money in the second slab so we just need to get uh, 23885 then subtract 12 298 so we want to see the amount of money that is taxed in the second slab. So we just take 23,885, subtract 12,298. And when you do that, you notice um, this one will give 11,587. 11,587. So the money, 11,587. So 11,587 times... Uh, the second slab is a uh, 15%. So 15% of that amount. Uh, this one will give. 
just calculate these 1738 1738.05 so that is the second slab let's go to the third slab go to confirm whether these slabs are uniform so in that slab we have i want to see the amount that is taxed here so 35 472 subtract 23885 now uh, they are uniform when you get this figure you notice that it is the same so it is 11587 so the slabs from there are uniform so you get 11 587 and the tags in that bracket is 20 percent and this when you work out 11587 times 20 percent get uh, 2317 2317 and 40 cents so let's go still we are taxing 71,000 so far we have taxed 12 to 98 11 so we still have to go to the other slab so in the other slab uh, when you confirm uh, the difference 47059 subtract 35472 let me write this 47059 minus 35472 uh, 472 you still get uh, 11,587. So 11,587 is still the same. So 11,587 times 25%. This will give 11,587 times 25%, 28,96 give 28.96 and 75 cents so that is um what you get now we are now in the last uh, slab mm, the last slab which is uh 47,060 and above so all the remaining amount the remaining amount is supposed to fall in the last slab which is 30 percent the tax rate in that slab is 30 percent so what we need to do uh, is to calculate uh, what we have uh, taxed so far. So this is uh, what we have taxed uh, so far. This is the taxable income. So you need to add that and see what figure we get. And um, to get the remaining uh, amount to be taxed in that slab, we shall take uh, the total amount that we are taxing, which is 71662.50 cents then we subtract whatever we have already taxed so far we started with uh, 12 uh, 298 then plus 1157 11 587 11 587 and there were three there were three slabs that were multiplying by three so this will give the remaining amount which will go to the uh, the last slab so working out these 71662 and 50 cents subtract this we'll get um 24603 24603 and 50 cents so this is the amount that should go now in the last lab 24 603 and 50 cents and then the last lab uh, is 30 percent the taxation in that slab is 30 percent so calculating these um, 24603 and 50 cents times 30 percent you get 7381 and uh, 5 cents now we have already taxed everything now 71662 and 50 cents we have taxed everything so when you add all these amount 12298 11587 11, all this this the figure should give you the taxable income whatever you're taxing now this column the other column is what is giving the tax this column this this, this is now the tax this is now the tax the total tax that is the total tax so to get the total tax we need to add uh, everything here 
we need to add so total tax is given by we are going to add everything 12 to 12 29 and 80 then we add 17 38 and 5, 5 cents 23 17 and 40 cents 28 96 and 75 cents then 73 81 and 5 cents so we add everything to get the total tax so let's do that very fast so we add everything 12 to 9 and 80 plus 17 38 plus 23 17 and 40 cents plus 28 96 um, five plus three. So this one will give fifteen five sixty three. To give fifteen fifteen uh, five six three and five cents. So that is the total tax now. Now to get the tax payable or the what we call the net tax, we we're given there's a tax relief that is given in this question uh, there's a tax relief of 1408 per month so to get the net tax or the total tax pay now the, this is the net tax this is the best time to use uh, to, to get the net tax we're going to less the relief which is uh, 1408 so this will give the net tax so when you subtract that 15 5, and 5 cents subtract these you get um, 14 155 14 and uh, 5 cents so that is the tax payable by canini that month so that is how we get the net tax so that is the second part. Let's go to the third part. Canini's net pay per month. Or that month. Canini's net pay that month. So how do you get the net pay? Net pay is obtained by getting the taxable income. The taxable income. Or what we call the gross income. Then we subtract all the deductions that you're given. That is where you get the net pay. Taxable income, which is also referred to as the gross income, and as well the deduction. Now, the net, um, the taxable income is already given. That is the first figure that we got here. The taxable income was 71,662 and 50 cents. 71, it was 71,662 and 50 cents. Then we don't have. Um, Many deductions here. Yeah. We only have the only deduction that we have here is uh, the tax, the net tax, and you've got the net taxes fourteen one fifty five and five cents. So we don't have any other deduction that is given here. So it's only the net tax. So when you get this difference, you get um, fifty seven. Give uh, fifty seven uh, five or seven and 45 cents so that is what you get so 57,507 and 45 cents and that is how you're supposed to solve that question on income tax